this might be the last cucumber that turns out looking decent until next year because these plants, cucumber plants are just not looking very healthy at all. But that's okay, I'm happy with what I got out of these plants seeing as they were a completely second planting of cucumber plants in the exact same location where there were cucumber plants earlier in the summer. So that they fruited at all is pretty good. And when I planted these, I said, I have zero expectation for these. So I'm happy. We got like, like 10 or so, maybe less than 10, like five to 10 cucumbers from these. So I'm okay with that. And there are quite a few blooms on the, pen, the lima bean plants. So hopefully they will turn into bean pods soon. And maybe we'll get some of those. The dragon's tongue beans are doing really well. There's quite a lot of those. I'm thinking I might pick those tonight or tomorrow um, and eat them. I want to pick them and then eat them that, that, that night. I want them to be as fresh as possible. And as expected, compost heap number three is over 170 degrees. The thing is scorching hot. It was down to like 120 yesterday, and then I flipped it, and now it's over 170. And compost heap number two is around 90 degrees. Um, so it's still warm, but not completely actively breaking down. I think that's what that means. And um, so pretty close to being ready to go out into the garden. And finally, we have compost heap number four, the one that I just put into the new bin, and it is around 145 degrees, which is a good temperature for it to be cooking at. And, but I'm, this isn't even done. I'm gonna keep adding stuff to this until it's pretty full and then I'll stop and then I'm gonna fix this one and start adding stuff into this one. So yesterday evening I did this and talked about this and as you can see this one is now majorly folding over here. And I don't really, I mean I guess this is just the way they grow, I don't know. I'm gonna try to give it some support with some compost here. Maybe, I mean, maybe th them leaning over is fine. Maybe that's just what they do. I don't know. Okay, so right here is where I think the water first sort of hit a barrier in the front of the wood chips and was not able to get over the front of the wood chips. And so then that's why it sort of ran all the way down the wood chips this way to the garden and then into the garden. So I think that if I just create, like I have already started here, if I just create like a, an opening in the wood chips, in the front of the wood chips here for the water to get in and then up on top of and then it can go through or whatever. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, I'm gonna have to make like a whole drain system or something, I don't know. I mean, but also hopefully it just doesn't ever rain like that again, which I mean it will eventually, but uh, maybe just not anytime soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna open and make a little sort of like open opening or a little funnel right here so the water can go up onto the top of the wood chips and then down the yard. So 
So that was pretty easy. Basically I just made a, a little track, a little opening, a little ditch, if you will, so that when the water runs, and this is what the water does, it comes from the corner up here and runs all the way down into the yard. So hopefully when it comes down, it can go onto this, uh, make it up onto the top of the wood chips now that I've given it a space to where it won't get stopped by the front of the wood chips. Did I already mention this <laughs> about these figs? I think I mentioned it yesterday or something. But these figs are really, really delicious. There's like, these four are really close to being ripe. I'm trying to see, I'm really tempted to pick them right now because I want to eat them. But I'm trying to see just how ripe they get and like if their flavor enhances the more ripe they get. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm probably gonna pick at least one tomorrow because I want to eat it, but I'm gonna let, wet, let and see how much color they gain and then how soft they get because right now they're getting really soft and the color's changing a whole lot, so I wonder just how much the color will change.